The inspection we've been waiting for is finally here. Here he is. The inspector? Yeah. And we have a short break in the weather to plan our next big delivery. We're having our drywall delivered tomorrow, so hopefully we pass. We are doing as much as possible to prepare. I called it, I knew this was gonna happen. Going for it. Oh, that's disgusting. Because this has to happen today. But he's not gonna try to whip it. He's not whipping. <laughs> no he's whipping. whipping it right there. Okay. <laughs> 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 Are you a snake? Or a dragon? Do you know who's coming? Not Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are waking up bright and early because we want to be super prepared and ready for the moment our inspector shows up. We have our insulation inspection this morning, and it's the inspector that we have known and loved for the past few years. Normally, he comes in the morning. We don't actually have an estimate from him, but we want to be ready just in case he shows up like at 7.30 a.m. So. We got up early, we're getting, we're dressed. Leo, are you excited? Mm. Are you gonna tell him good morning when he comes? Mm. You say good morning. Good morning. We're a little nervous because there's a lot hinging on this inspection. If we pass, we better pass, I hope we pass. We're having our drywall delivered tomorrow, so hopefully we pass. Probably well, we either way we're having our drywall delivered tomorrow. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm whipping up some eggs for breakfast. Leo is having uh, oatmeal over here. We're gonna get fueled up and ready for Kent to arrive. Yes, super hot. practiced? Mm. If you close your eyes really tight. No, I want Nana. I know, she's not here. I want Nana. Do you miss her? Mm. Me too. Mm. Me too. Mm. She still loves you, okay? Mm. If you close your eyes really tight, you can imagine her giving you a big hug. Mm. A big hug and a kiss. Nonu took an airplane, yeah. Nonu needs to come back soon. I miss Nonu too. Well, I miss Nana. And Nana, I know. Nana Nonu. Yeah, Nana and Nonu. What do you want to tell Nana? Uh -oh. Do you want to tell her, I love you, Nana? I love Mama. Yeah. It's too big for you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, false alarm. The inspector isn't here yet. I feel like whenever you get super like prepared for something, then it doesn't happen as early as you're expecting it to versus um, if you're not prepared and you sleep in, things happen first thing in the morning. So we're prepared and we're still waiting for the inspector to arrive. In the meantime, Jason is here to finish up some tile in the casita. Trent and him are just walking around in the addition, giving a little tour right now. <sighs> Any minute now. <laughs> All right, so yesterday, Jason put in a full day's work here. And for me, a full day's work would probably just be laying this place out and not even setting any tile, but he got the entire floor done. He got the floor of the bathroom, the floor of the shower. Now, 
We have these like wood look tiles, which are really, really cool. So these are the large format tiles that are gonna go on the walls in the shower. They look like wood. So he's actually gonna build this entire bench out of those tiles, this bench right here. And then he's gonna go all the way up the wall, on the ceiling and the back wall with that wood look. And then it's gonna be like kind of accented by the brown and the floor tiles. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, well, it looks like the inspector is just showing up. So let's head out into the addition and get our drywall or our insulation inspection underway. Here he is. Excellent. Yay, everybody just got here at the same time. The inspector? Yeah. Guess who's here? The inspector. Hmm. You're gonna say good morning. Good morning. How you doing, Kent? Pretty good. How you doing? Pretty good. Good morning. Our block, you don't need to look at. Yes. He said we could just use plywood. Yep, you okay. can. Yeah. Careful, these cords are all over the place. Two by four blocking in between these. Studs it's got to be got to be the same thickness as the studs. Okay, two by six. What's this broken vent up there? So this is uh, this is HRV. Oh, okay. So this so is going to have a vent that sucks. Oh, so it'll go right there. It's oh, gonna... it catches on fire, so it'll, it'll take it out throughout out the whole house to your ductwork. Oh, okay. Just pull that flames through there, so we, we don't want that to happen. Okay, huh. I fixed that. I got rid of all the, um, or I foamed all the holes, the Good. penetrations in the return ducts. There's one other duct chase that needed to be blocked over here. Our 1070 valve here. Is Super. that where you want to put it right there? You yeah, I'm just going to put an access yeah, in there. I just put like a little grill right there, like mm -hmm. a little heat grill. Like a return vent? Yeah. Okay. Just put it up there so if you have to get in there and adjust that or something, you, you can get in there. Okay, perfect. Those, those valves on a freestanding tub, they don't have anti temperature devices on them. Right. So if we don't want anybody to go in and get scalded by that. Right. Mm -hmm. I have the tub and I set it in here yesterday. Uh -huh. And we're like 14 and a half inches from the closet flange. Mm. Is that a we don't talk about it or? <laughs> <laughs> the problem is too, is that like this, I, we can go down in the crawl space and I can show you, but our joists and the beam that's underneath uh -huh. this post, everything's so tight in here that I don't think I can re. I don't think I can move either of those things. I tried to make it as good as I could. My structural engineer put these posts right where my tub valve is supposed right. to be. <laughs> like now I'm gonna have some weird cockeyed tub valve that's like <laughs> offset. It looks so stupid. Well, you can only do what you can do. Yeah. <laughs> you also had a re shear on there. What was that? That was when you came. We just had like a bunch of seams that were upstairs that didn't get blocked, and we blocked them. But he didn't. The system wouldn't let us call for the four-way until. Yeah, do a frame inspection. So stupid. We're conditioning this space. I'm probably gonna put dampers on them. Just get a regular grill. Mm -hmm. They got them little. Fields, you can close, close them on and off. Okay. Just use those. Okay. Yeah, I just figure I don't want cold floors. So I figure I'll just condition this space down yeah. here and then I don't have to worry about that. And I'm plasticking everything mm -hmm. so that there's like a complete vapor barrier so I don't have to worry about any moisture coming up. Right. I'm almost done. I have a little bit of plastic left. You're, you're good enough. Okay. Cool. I think you can go ahead and drywall it up. Awesome. Yay! I'm excited to get past drywall. I'm not excited to drywall. I know. <laughs> now we don't do a drywall nailing inspection anymore. Okay. Okay. So you can go ahead and just tape it, get it painted, get it finished up. Okay. So when final. Do I see you next. Final. Final. Wow. wow. All right. We That's... don't do shower pans. We don't do drywall. So. Okay. Scary. Cool. It's easier for me. <laughs> That's scary so though. Hopefully, it, hopefully it, I do it all right. Us too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and start drywalling. And, Wow. Get her, get her going. Okay. Cool. That's scary. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, appreciate it. You bet. Yeah, good it's to good see to see you. you. Yep. Thank you so much. Hopefully it'll be before Christmas that I'll see you. Yeah. yeah. We'll have another baby next <laughs> yeah. time. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely have another baby by then. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. All right. Thank Very you good. Can. Well, we'll see you on the next inspection. Okay, sounds, sounds good. good. Have a good rest you guys, of your day. You guys have to be careful. Thank you. Well. Appreciate it. Yay!
<laughs> That's way exciting. We can get our drywall delivery. We can start hanging drywall. And then we've got three months of doing drywall. <laughs> it's actually really sweet because that was Kent and he has been our inspector since we started building the main portion of the house yeah. in 2020. And he has seen us go from like, I mean, we still don't really know what we're doing, but we he has seen the <laughs> full progression of our literal ignorance to like a somewhat understanding of how to build a house. He's seen me be pregnant and then have a baby at final inspection. And we're going to have another baby yeah. at the next final inspection. Just like most of you guys have been along for the whole ride, watching us through this whole adventure. Kent has been, you know, making stops by and checking on us all the way through. So yeah, it's, it's been cool. really, really awesome. And he's done a very thorough and very helpful job of guiding us through the whole process. So Kent, if you're watching this by any chance, thank you. And we so appreciate it. We passed. <gasps> Yay. So we can drywall. Is the drywall coming right now? Uh, Friday. And then the next inspection is our final inspection. So it's like, go crazy. Oh my goodness. See when it's done. <laughs> it's a little nerve wracking. <laughs> It's very exciting and he basically only told us we need to do two things and that's we need to throw a piece of plywood up inside our uh, little bookcase for fire blocking and then we needed to fire block uh, like the side of one more wall. Other than that, everything was good. Whoop whoop. Happy day. Does your back hurt, Trent? My butt hurts. Why? My back's fine, actually. Why did? Yeah, why are you in pain? Today. I'm butt hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You're butt hurt. I'm butt hurt because my butt hurts. <laughs> I just need a little booty massage. <laughs> That's what Brandon and Grayson are for. I've got, I've got me. My back has been hurting, so my glutes, I think, are like taking the load of my back, and so my glutes are like overworked. My back actually feels way better, but my my glutes are now like suffering, so. I think I just need to kind of take it easy, maybe get a massage, drink a lot of water. I'm telling you, it's I'll sympathy be, pain. I'll be good in no time. It might be sympathy pain. I might be carrying a baby. That's why my butt hurts. <laughs> yeah. That's a real thing. Yeah. It's enough, it's enough talking about my butt, though. I think we're going to get to work here. we got to get this place cleaned up and ready for drywall. So we are going to start doing a massive cleaning job, getting all of the junk out of here, and then uh, all the junk out of the bedrooms and the bathroom and the living room because tomorrow we're getting a drywall delivery i took a stroll downtown this evening when i heard music echo through the night the same old songs that i heard the night before so i started running so i wouldn't be too late We've had three bananas that have just been like pretty much brown turning into black for the last like three or four days that I've been meaning to make banana bread out of and just haven't done it. And so this morning I was like, great, I'm just gonna do it really fast, do it right now. And I got to the part where we need just two eggs and realized that this morning Trent finished those last two eggs. We only had three eggs. We only had three eggs and Trent ate them all. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> Luckily our fantastic neighbors right next door uh, have chickens and eggs and they were home and so my friend Erin sent her kids over to bring us some eggs. So the making of the banana bread can resume. All right, I've got everything on the exterior unit disconnected and I'm ready to pull the- Mini split? Mini split wow, that's a big day. He's just going for it. Oh, that's disgusting. Just oh my gosh, there, a thousand bugs just fell out of there. I'm breathing it. Ew! That filter needed to be changed. Ew! So many dead bugs. Oh my gosh. Why don't you vacuum? I need a screwdriver. I have to disconnect everything first. Something cuts into those. Oh, it's way less dusty than I expected for three years of being in there. Right there. That's gross. 
That's your skin, Ellie. Ugh! <laughs> That's disgusting. Look at all them bugs. <laughs> That's nothing. That's nothing? I opened it up, there's about 10,000 carcasses that fell out. The lines that connect to this unit is like this huge, like 20 foot run and they're connected to the machine outside. They're like kinked and messed up from this thing getting moved around all the time. Basically junk. Mm. And uh, I thought I could disconnect them on this end and maybe just buy a new line set. That's not the case. So we're gonna cut it out there. You may be able to solder a new line set onto it. I don't really know, but basically this thing is gonna be free Facebook marketplace. Yeah. <laughs> One of our neighbors can try to use it. Oh, gross. It's a mosquito cemetery over there. None of them are mosquitoes. Well, I don't even want to know what they are. <laughs> Moths and stuff. Ew. Ooh, you want to check it? I do want to check it. All right, come check it. Hey. I think it's probably not cooked all the way inside. The outside is looking real nice, though. A little bit more. I think another 15 minutes. All right. Dinner is served. I think we'll probably wait for it to cool down a little bit, but I'm that's, just happy. That's it's... for dinner? Yeah, that's all we get tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're not too hungry. I will never complain about banana bread, no matter what <laughs> meal it's for. It looks delicious. <laughs> We've drunk coffee from here all the way down to Argentina through a lot of the fincas and some of the best growing coffee places on the planet. I absolutely love coffee and I'm always searching out the best coffee and that's why I'm so excited to talk about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Trade. Trade is empowering people to experience specialty coffee through curating the world's best coffee in one easy to find place. Trade partners with over 55 of the nation's top local roasters. A lot of times when Trade is shipped right to your front door, as soon as the package comes into the house, you can smell it. But once you open it, it's like a flavor bomb just went off in here. They deliver the best at-home coffee experience that is personalized to your tastes and preferences and each coffee is roasted and packaged to order and delivered on your schedule. If you guys are really looking to get the best coffee that I've ever found and it comes directly to your door, they roast it to order, it is absolutely amazing. Right now, Trade is giving you guys a special offer. If you click the link in our description or if you go to drinktrade.com slash Trent and Allie, you'll get 30% off your first month. I wanted to say thanks again to Trade for sponsoring today's video. Now we're gonna enjoy our coffee. We're gonna head out and get to work. You're sleeping, okay. I called it, I knew this was gonna happen. We are waking up to a drywall delivery, but also like what, three inches of snow? A sloppy mess, that's for sure. So most people or most places around here got a little bit of rain, maybe like some mixed snow and rain. We got about three inches of light fluffy snow up here. It's not melting that quickly, but at least the roads are just wet, they're not snowy, so our drywall delivery is happening. They are on their way up right now. Brandon's actually stuck behind them. So as soon as they show up, we're gonna be ready to start getting these drywall pieces into the addition. I'm actually really interested to see how these guys are gonna do it because LKL is pulling through, doing an amazing job for us, and they're delivering four by 12 sheets of drywall. So we don't have to finish nearly as many seams because there's you know such large pieces of drywall. But navigating through the addition to get upstairs and into the bedrooms, it's gonna be very interesting. Oh, okay. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I heard you you spotted them. I spotted them. Where are yeah, they? Happened? They let me pass. Okay. The roads are not great. ideal. Not great at all. Not ideal. It's tough because they've been dry recently, so it's been hard packed and nice, but Today they're so sloppy and slippery with the mud. Check those out, those are for you. How sparkly, should you put them in your pocket? What do you say to Brandon? Can you say thank you? He has no words, he's so excited. <laughs> Can you say thanks for the rocks? You're welcome. Where are those from? Uh, my house. Oh nice. <laughs> we got uh, Braxton like a kit that came with like a whole bunch. Okay. You break them open with a hammer. Cool, cool. Really cool. So we just have a bunch of Geodes. Jesus. Leo loves rocks. Yeah, I know, that's <laughs> why I brought it's a good them. gift. <laughs> They're here! They're 
They are coming so slow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Woo, now can they get it up our driveway? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Good morning. Some of it's going up there, it's going here. It's all going in the back. Room. Yeah, because I, I broke it down by room, but I don't know. Yeah, we yeah. have a living room right here. Yeah. So this is all upstairs okay. and a stairwell for the upstairs. It's been used for here, but we can place it up here. Yeah, I feel like it would have helped if I could leave a window open or something, but I don't think you can get your truck close enough anyways. I just don't want to stretch out that far. Right. Yeah, when we Hungry. had them pouring the foundation for this, the boom truck was like <laughs> leaning and sinking into the mud just to get the back of the foundation. And... Oh, yeah. It's so clean in here. Well, this is super exciting that they were able to make it up here relatively easily. The roads are not perfect, but this is actually our first delivery of the entire season. May 1st um, is the day that we are allowed to start having big trucks um, and construction deliveries up on the mountain. Before then, it's just too muddy. It's too... It, it deteriorates the roads too much. Things are just not dried out and stable enough to have big, heavy delivery trucks driving on them. So. Uh, May 1st has come and gone, and uh, the drywall is here. He's done this before. This is why you hire the professionals, baby. So he's gonna try to back up as close as he can get to the snowmobile trailer and then kind of whip the front end around. Whip it. And then pull up this direction up to the ramp a little bit. I don't know if that's actually gonna happen or not. This is a tight fit. I have to do an Austin Powers maneuver right here. <laughs> nice, dude. He thinks he's gonna be able to get it right there. He's gonna use his boom to pick up these like pallets of ins or of uh, drywall. not insulation, <laughs> drywall. He's gonna pick up the pallets of drywall, boom it up, hopefully get it over the railing. Cool. If he can get it over the railing, then they'll just pull it off of the boom, put it on a cart, wheel it in the house, and then carry it up the stairs. Won't be as hard as, you know, carrying it from the truck, which is what I thought was gonna happen, so. But he's not gonna try to whip it? He's not whipping. <laughs> no he's whipping. whipping it right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually really crazy because today is May 3rd and May 1st is the first day that you're actually allowed to start having big trucks come up here on our road. So this has happened in basically the nick of time. Like we finished our insulation, had our insulation inspection, and now it's like the next day and we're allowed to have these trucks up here. It's unfortunate that it snowed last night and the roads are super muddy and a mess, but we got this big truck up here. They're delivering all the drywall. And honestly, it's saving all of our backs and all of the aggravation that we would have had trying to load up all this stuff with Grayson and I and Brandon in trucks and just would have been a nightmare. Dry drywall, my favorite. That's a lot of drywall, man. <laughs> crazy because last night Leo woke up two, technically technically three times throughout the night and just needed to be put back to sleep and kind of calmed and reassured a little bit, which is fine. But that hasn't happened for a while, or at least not that frequency in one night for a while. And I'm just so not excited to do that every single night, five, six, seven times a night with a newborn. Ugh. I was telling Trent the other day, I'm having a little bit of pre-regret. <laughs> I hope we didn't make a huge mistake by having another baby, but. No, it's always a mistake. Okay. <laughs> it's always a mistake. Okay. It's a good mistake. It's a okay. Good mistake. <laughs> It'll, it's all temporary. Nobody 
somebody has a newborn and a toddler and says, wow, I really think we made the right decision. <laughs> it's all temporary. It's all fleeting. It's all a phase. Got to try to keep it in perspective, you know? <laughs> Train truck. What's it doing? It's moving things. It's gonna pick up the drywall and put it on the deck. No, I don't. Those 12 foot long shoots are large. Yeah, those are the big boys. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going down there? We ran out of tea. Oh. Again. You wanted to help shuttle drywall in. No. <laughs> <laughs> didn't. How nice is it to have people deliver so nice. and place materials? All right, so we're just sitting around here waiting for these guys to move all the drywall. And we have some Campo Grande Iberco Chorizo Clasico. And Allie is really hungry for some meat. She's looking for protein snacks. So we're gonna get her to try some of this. We've had it for a little while, but it's like shelf stable. You can keep it forever. And uh, it's free range, heirloom, Iberian pork, no nitrates. Looks really good, looks healthy. We're gonna see if Allie likes it. All right, my love. How do you like your smoked paprika Iberian pork? I don't want this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just try a piece. Um, it looks like something I would love to eat when I wasn't pregnant, but I don't think I want this right now. It's interesting. It's a good flavor. I don't want it. We tried. We're running out of high protein snacks, so I'm looking for something that Allie can eat. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but. Pregnant women can be a little picky. <laughs> you want to be a green guy? Yay. Yeah, you want to operate the crane truck? Mm. Okay. These guys unloading the drywall have the like neon yellow green vests on, like the construction vests, and Leo keeps calling them the green guys. The green guys, they're moving the stuff. He's very, very excited about the truck out here, the drywall, and uh, he wants to be operating the crane himself. <laughs> Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> It is really crazy actually, after we got this whole place cleaned up, we've had so much like stuff and windows and the mini split and all different types of things like piled up tools, materials in every single room. And now that we've got all the rooms cleared out and like ready for drywall, the space is feeling really big. It feels like every room is much bigger. It feels like this living room is enormous. And this living room kind of feels large but it won't feel large once we get couches in here because it's actually not very big. We have to have room for these doors to swing inwards and all different types of stuff. And now the fireplace has bumped everything out. So it's not as big as we were hoping, but it's gonna serve its purpose. It's funny, no matter how many times we try to tell him, Frank just wants to lay right where we're trying to work. Soaking up the sun, having a great time, but definitely in the way. My wall's in, they're just bringing in the last of the mud, uh, the screws, the tape. These guys are about ready to take off and get out of here. Wow, how excited are you? 
I'm really excited. It's just sad that it like basically took all day. We're like pretty much ready to call it a day once these guys are done. It's pretty but cool. We got all the drywall. I don't know if you guys have any idea how long it would have taken us to get all of this drywall up here into the house. If we had to do it in truckloads. Oh man. Weeks. It would have taken probably two weeks. And everyone's backs would be broken. Lika, what are you doing? What are you doing out here? Oh, end of frame. Hello. Woo. Oh boy. Frank, come here. Get out of the way. No, Frank. Bye. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Green guys, really cool. Yeah. Do you want to wave goodbye? Say bye, green guys. Bye, guys. See you later. Well, we got all the drywall, we got all the mud, the tape. I, I, I was like, give me a thousand feet of tape. It doesn't look like enough. Wow, yeah. It's probably enough for a couple of rooms. Okay. <laughs> Not the whole house. I feel like we have some in the garage still. We do. I think we'll we have last. two of those rolls. Now is when the pain begins. The yeah. thing is, we have all of the tools to do like fast, professional drywall installation. And we've got a little bit of the experience now. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it goes a little bit faster than the house or even the basement. I, we did pretty good in the basement. Mm -hmm. None of it really looks good except for maybe like the bedroom. We like spent some time on the walls and made yeah. sure the seams all looked good. I got really long sections of drywall. So there's going to be minimal seams in pretty much all of the addition. So I think that that's actually going to help us out by making very minimal seams. It's going to be a lot less finishing and hopefully we can get it done in a relatively short amount of time, but <laughs> bear with us because drywall has begun. You know what? Uh, I am just feeling extremely grateful. Seriously. Um, the person at LKL is Clayson. He's a guy that has absolutely been a hero for us. We had a little run in trying to get drywall back in 2020. Most of you guys probably remember and Clayson reached out, absolutely hooked us up. He's like not even our local LKL dealer. He's like a whole valley away and he loaded up trucks, brought everybody up here. They did an amazing job. So we used them for the garage. We've now used them for the addition. And these guys always knock it out of the park. They're just amazing guys. So if you're in the area and you need something, LKL and Orem, call and ask for Clayson, have him set you guys up because he's amazing. Yeah, seriously, Clayson, if you're watching this, thank you so much. But I think that's gonna do it for us. So if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.